what's up everyone welcome back to the channel boozer here in today's video we're going to be doing live arena pvp content so let's jump right into it um starting off at 4154 leaderboard standing 292 i haven't played for a couple of days here uh, i do have I, my ragash is ready to go but he's not geared up so look out for him in the near future to show up on the roster so in the meantime, we'll just be using our uh, regular champions. I haven't really, uh, like I said, I haven't really played too many Labrina matches in the last couple of days, uh, holidays and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys had a good holiday. This guy's got his new shiny avatar. Not going to be getting any of these shiny avatars. They don't really have too much value for me. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Is this chain breaker chain breaker blessing i guess it gives defense and then chance to remove debuff i believe but it's a very conditional very conditional removal of debuffs um i like ramantu in this matchup um Like, I like this setup, and I'll leave my DPS. It might be Ramantu at the end, and then I'll remove Marichka. Okay, let's go with this. But obviously with Makagi, I can go through um, UDK already, so I don't really need to rely on UDK. He's going Rodos. Uh, six star. I'm gonna dump Marichka here. Yeah, he's dumping my DPS, but my Ramantu deals DPS as well. Um, so this is like a full CC team. So hopefully I can get the CC off. No affinity issues. Besides Duchess, but probably in like stone skin or something. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're just going to... Going to ally into the Rodos. Oh... Well, I mean, I guess that's a loss um, with the um, inability to sheep anybody. I mean, inability to remove the passive feels like a loss. Let's see if we can get the stuns off here. We do. It's great. Don't really need to heal yet. Ramatu is really our only DPS, so. I'm not going to use the strip yet. No DPS is really sad here. You can only A1. Got a little Termier drop there. Resisted, really? And only A1.
Gonna be a bit of a fight here. Okay, so Ramontu's back. Really need to break the passive here. You can A1 Ramontu. So that's a full team stun and a lockout. Try to kill the Rodos off. There he goes. Still locked down. So the Duchess is too slow to uh, recover um, with just speed, right? So he he kind of knows it. Um, if his Duchess was faster, then he can like cycle back to the revive uh, faster than the uh, Warlord. But because the Warlord is faster, he can't cycle back. So he has to hope for basically like a resist or extra turn uh, from Rodos to get lucky. But Rodos is dead. Uh, there should be no way for him to uh, kill my team. Don't have to worry about picking Warlord here. So I am just going to pick very tanky things. He's going to go first, so we're going to go second. So I go something like this. UDK to follow. Or Duchess. We'll play Lockout or whatever. Should be fine. Uh, yeah, we'll just ban the... Um, and the mythical guy the three supports so our pick we can pick i think we pick duchess and then rodos and then uh we're good I mean, basically we just pick the tankiest champions we have rose is really good because he can obviously get kind of lucky and then he works perfectly fine on the a1 it looks like we're probably just going to ban the mythical champion or the other dps depending which is more threatening probably georgia is more threatening i think since georgia can cut through shields and cut through rotos very easily all right so see what happens here one reviver Going for a lockout, of course. Yep. Who do I sleep? Sleep you. You're slept. I kill you off. Just waste a revive. Damn. Almost got the A1 sleep off. What? Oh, Hex Transfer. Oh man, that's so uh, nasty. I think she has a block revive. Yeah, she has a block revive.
Hmm. It's gonna be tough. I don't know. It's gonna be real tough. If we can kill this off, we might be able to win. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen here. Yeah, that mythical champion's pretty, uh, pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Mr. Dallas played this guy before. Yeah, I wasn't sure how we could have won that last one. I guess Rotos would have been able to do it since he can survive the, the one shot. Yeah, overall, a little bit tough. Yeah, and he's going first. Last match, and he's going first, too. Really tough to recover there. Pretty sure this guy's got like a double hit or something so i'm gonna go with rotos and then my um i think i'll probably pick um that just seems fine and then uh, rotos as our last pick seems fine The alternative is to take like Makagi, but we've got two spirit affinity champions here. It's got three nukers. Three nukers. It's interesting. I think maybe I played this guy before and he ran this similar strategy. I mean, yeah, Stalt is very good. Um, very good against Protos. Got a couple AoE double hits. Goes first. So he goes first. We can Veil up. Uh, he, he is faster. Okay, and then he's faster. Only got the A1. Uh, the Wukong can't really do anything now because of the UDK. It's up to this guy to do something. You know, I should have just A3'd him, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to kill him off. But there you go. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if the A3, sorry, if if I use A3 on the uh, Mythical Champion, I wasn't sure if the A2 could finish off Elva. That's why I went with the A3 on Elva instead. Um, I understand that he had the unkillable, or he, yeah, he had an unkillable on, so making the A3 on him makes sense, but I wasn't sure if I the A2 could kill Elva, and that's what I wanted to do. So maybe, you know, it would have looked a lot cleaner if I just used A3 on the Mythical Champion and then A2 um, Elva, but I wasn't sure if the A2 would kill Elva off. Probably a similar strategy here in Makagi with uh, with um, Ramantu. He's probably confused. have to remove her still removes warlord yeah i mean that's fine because he lives us with taras um yeah marichka is a bit of a problem though maybe the lockout will kill the wukong that'd be kind of nice if the lockout kills the wukong we should go first we do. I don't think the ally attack's gonna kill anybody. Damn, not fast enough. I get the cleanse off. Feels bad, man. Hmm. This Marichka. Being super annoying here. Maybe I should have saved the stun or something, I guess. Maybe I should have saved the stun. Stun wasn't very good. She just cleansed it off. And then she A2 the Ramantu AoE. Killed him off after with the A1. I guess maybe if I saved the stun, we would have had a chance then, maybe, if the everything lined up. Because it would have been like AoE, they all come back, and then maybe Makagi gets a turn with the stun. I mean, it would have to line up really nicely. Um, I think in the end it did line up properly, but hard to guarantee. 
not ever happens. Um, but yeah, I think that would have been a chance to win pretty cleanly. have to ban this no duchess no Sifi No point taking Ramatu, no point in taking Makagi. I guess we don't really have too much of a choice. We could have picked the DPS here just to block him from DPS. I'm kind of okay taking two of the three here. I got Rodos, Wukong. So he's picking a uh, spirit. So I'm going to go with uh, Rodos. I ban the girl here. I'm going to ban Warlord, so he's going to have to deal with the UDK, which blocks Sifi and Wukong. But let's see what he's going to do here. I'd be surprised if he bans UDK, yeah. If he banned UDK, I think he might have a better chance at, um, at kind of like killing our team really fast. But uh, I think this gives us the best chance by leaving the UDK there. It would have been really strange for him to ban UDK, but I think he could have probably controlled UD. Uh, he probably would have been able to control Warlord better than UDK. So I think, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Definitely um, in tough against this guy for sure. He's got a really strong roster. Nope, take a seat. This guy's not going to do anything for a while. Okay. Could do some killing with this. I don't want to burn my turns. Protect my guys best I can. He knows he knows he's in tough here. Yeah, the Wukong's not doing anything. Okay, let's see if this guy can slam through all this stuff. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, Wukong can't do anything. Got A1, A2s. Uh, it's GG. Yeah, GG. Yeah, like I said, their best chance. The UDK gives us the best chance. Um, if he ban UDK, he probably wins, Like to be honest. Because his Wukong can't do anything against UDK. And his Garal can't kill Rotos. So... GG. Surge, Surge FTW. Recognize this name. Six 
next to our sheep. It's going to be hard to use any kind of debuffer here. This is what I would use to uh, Ward of the Fallen on Harma. Okay. He's got last pick support. That sucks. I think I'm gonna go for the um I think I'm gonna go for this again. Worked out pretty well last time. Um but this time I'm gonna have to remove the uh Duchess. Or cleanser. If he goes cleanser, then I remove the cleanser. He's probably going to remove Taras. Like, Taras looks pretty juicy here to remove. He's got the reset. So I lock him out, he resets. What is reset going to do? Maybe he tries to sleep everybody? Yeah, it's very juicy to remove the Taras. So he's going to play, yeah, remove Taras, play against Lockout. Um, I mean, it might work out for him if he's in Stone Skin. I'm going to try to sleep here. He actually lands to sleep. Oh, man. The Rose is going to pop off here. But he's locked out. Maybe the A1. Just the A1. He's locked out. Probably pretty safe to bring him back. I'm gonna play the stun here. Could have allied attacked actually. Play the stun, heal up. Heal him off. No reviver. He's locked out, so no resets. Losing those 50-50s on the stone skin. Stun again. Alright. Locked out again. Nope. Uh, probably don't want to transform yet. There we go. That's the... That's the difference maker that he needs. The sheep is the difference maker here for sure. Don't really want to wake him up. Take my chance. Really need to kill this Harma. Still locked out, so can't reset. 
Our meter drop. Nice. Beard again. One more AoE. One more AoE from uh, Raman 2 and then we got it. GG. Couple new players playing today. Haven't seen um, a lot of these players. Like Surge, I've ran into maybe on 3v3, but um, not Live Arena yet. Same opening as the Surge from the last fight. Lower Blessings, which kind of helps. Okay, Marichka is a little bit of a problem for sure. Um, I want to pick Rodos. But Harma's on the field. Maybe we just do the same thing. Mm. The thing is, Marichka is a cleanser, right? So if I pick a debuffer, she just he just picks a cleanser, and then that's it. Oops, he's gonna ban C Fee. Um. I have to do this. Even just A1 is super annoying here. Yeah. Last time I lost super hard to Tormin. Um, just because I kind of just relied on Warlord for the uh, block debuffs. But it was just too tough. Here we have to rely on not losing to the A1 from Marishka. Resisted to resistance. I'm going to stack the HP as soon as possible. At least we got the lockout. Kill her off. Force the revive. Which he can't do, so... So the setup will be A2 into Duchess to kill her off, and then A... Sorry, A3 into Duchess and then A2 Marichka once the revive happens. Um, this is probably not strong enough to kill her yet. Don't want to use the AoE for sure. Okay, get the heals and the buffs going.
Um, yeah, that sucks. Just fast enough. So now we know that it's just fast enough. Is Harma fast enough too? Might get the A2 off. Wow, really? Damn. Got lucky with the extra turn. Uh, extra A3. I think this ruined the game right here. This little bit of life, that ruined it. can't heal I might lose warlord here to the a1 yeah totally got botched totally botched Maybe still be okay here. He has like one chance to recover. Nope. That's it. GG. Yeah. Almost botched it. A couple things could have went wrong there. Um, but yeah, almost botched that fight. Same guy. We know he has Marichka, Duchess, Wukong, Foreman. I mean, not an insane roster or anything, like not fully blessed or empowered or anything, but have to be a little bit careful. Same opening. Actually, you went Duchess last time. This time he takes the Rotos away from me. Wukong is kind of a struggle. Uh, Wukong, Wukong would be a struggle against Rotos or Harma, so be, don't think I want to take him. Go Raman too, then we have no damage. Gonna ban Sifi again. So this time we have to deal with Mariska again.
Leorius should play better against Harma and Rotos than um, Wukong, unfortunately. So here we want to kill Marichka right away. Jeez. And the, and the attack down too. Got the attack down, of course. Okay, we gotta kill her off, like, right away. It's gonna be tough. Because, uh, Leoris doesn't deal any damage. And he hasn't tacked down on him. He's just burning through his buffs. Mm. Got some fears. I guess he gets the revive back. Uh, not fast enough. Yeah, it wasn't fast enough. Damn. Okay, if we AoE with Taras next, we can do it. I think Leora is still going to die here, yeah. Nice. He has a Provoke. Oh my god, it's not enough. Yeah, maybe foolish. Two turns to recover here. Okay, so it's Taras versus Rodos, but we have a UDK. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, good game. Maybe we could, we probably had a chance, but we did not. Alright, GG. It's like when we when we have to win, we take forever to win. And then when they win, they just win like instantly. Leoris probably wasn't the best pick, to be honest. Um, but I mean, I don't really have a good fifth nuker that can do damage. If this guy just banned Taras, I probably didn't have a choice with um, um, with my damage from Leoris. It probably wouldn't, wouldn't have been enough damage. Same fight. Same fight. Um, hmm, like, it's so hard to pick Rhonda here because she kind of just melts to the A1. Let's try the monkey this time. Monkey gives us a speed aura as well. You might just pick Tormin again, so the same lineup.
Hegemon. Stone skin, stone skin, stone skin. So Hegemon's not really gonna do anything. I mean, he could CC, um, he could CC Taras. He's playing a little differently this time. If it was a damage Hegemon, I'm not sure. It's probably a CC Hegemon. Gonna revive here. I'm gonna trigger the uh, passive here. He already revived, so he's gonna just stone skins off. I'm gonna use the Wukong un unload. Uh, break break one of the stacks off. Yeah, GG. Try to get a little fancy with the the Hegemon, but yeah, not very effective. I basically just play the same guy three times in a row. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's, I mean, if he went with Torment again, same guy, <laughs> same guy, GG's man, like, what can I say, like, <laughs> um, if, if he goes Torment, it would have been just the same, right, like, I would have banned Torment, would have had to face off against Marichka, um, this time I think Wukong would have been better than Leorius, so, um, I will have to bring, uh, Ragash in, Pretty soon, I think. He knows I have Warlord. He knows I have Taras. He probably doesn't have Warlord himself, but I know he has a Duchess. So I'm going to take Duchess away from him. Um, he might pick the Monkey. Like, I want to pick Rotos this time, but I for sure need Duchess first. I want to go. For sure I need Duchess. Because he has Marichka. Um, UDK is good against Sifi, so it's like kind of a counter there. But we know he has Rotos, so he could go Rotos and then just straight ban UDK. Um, which would be a problem for sure. Yeah, he's not going to pick Rotos here. I'm going to pick Rotos and then probably Taras. He knows I have Warlord. And he could pick Torment at the end. Do I save a pick? I could save a Cleanser against Torment. So this is kind of to psych him out from not picking Torment. Like I don't want him to pick Torment and force me to ban Torment because I'd rather ban one of these two. Ideally Marichka. And his DPS, he only showed Wukong. So he hasn't shown another DPS yet.
Like, our last pick is probably going to be Warlord. But he doesn't know that. So... Without a reviver, Mariska is not as strong. Without the boost and the defense up, these guys won't be as strong. So he might ban Duchess here. Yeah. Okay, we don't need buffs. That's fine. We just make sure we gotta kill this guy um, before he gets a turn with the Tormund. it he's locked out he got the a1 only so that's no help uh we don't need this yet i guess to protect these to protect rotos i guess to protect rotos so at least we have one dps The A3 is not worth much with Harma on the board, so. Really? How did that happen? I thought he died already? I guess he didn't die. Okay, now he's dead. So no more freezing. Still got the A1 only. A2, okay. Nope. Yeah, it should be no way for him. Alright, got him again, GG. All right, that's going to be it for the day. Uh, so that's 10 fights. We played the same guy four times today. Um, I mean, you know, that's that's go three and up, I guess. I mean, even go two, I was experiencing it, it as well. Um, yeah, what did we do today? We went seven wins and three losses. I mean, I'm, that's very good. I'm happy with that in the goal three. So the last three sessions, I've been getting about 70% win rate, which is good happy with that um yeah i mean this fight here we just you know tried our best to be like tanky take the hits but then man the the one shot ability of this uh mythical i don't know her name but i know she has the unkill um the once he kills someone puts unkillable on and she hits super hard whenever i face off against this champion i get totally wrecked so this this match was really tough. Um, this match, uh, this match was kind of close, I think, because I think we lost. Um, we got sheeped. Ramatu got sheeped right away by the UDK, and then didn't block passives on anybody. But we were able to deal with Marichka. We just couldn't get past the UDK afterwards to deal with the other two. Um, so yeah, it's it would have been a kind of close-ish fight um the other ones I, think, I mean we played against this guy felian felian yeah four times so i'd say they're pretty good games even though the matchups were relatively similar we basically switched up like one champion one champion per fight but yeah i, I thought they were pretty fun luckily we we're on the winning end this time but like next time probably on the losing end who knows so we're ranked 275 pretty good uh yeah creeping up 
I think, you know, end game goal for me was be, I don't know, top one, top 200, top 150, somewhere around there. If I played a bit more, probably could do it. But it's hard to get so many games in. All right, let's jump into champions real quick. So I use 11 champions today. This is my Rodos. Taras. Most used champions for sure, Taras. I pick him like whenever available, basically. Even though like he might not be the best pick. He should be the best pick usually whenever he's available to me. It would be silly not to pick him. Um, I wouldn't say he's like in my best gear. He is in my best gear, but he doesn't have like the best stats because he has no faction guardians, right? Like even a 10% HP from faction guardians would help, but um, UDK also get picked quite a bit. Warlord, my best, probably my best champion, still game changing champion. I got, I picked up two addition, I picked up two um, stone skin accessories, so I picked up a bunch of speed, a bit more speed on him. Also, the glyphs on him are very poor. I'm very glyph poor right now, so he can definitely go up a little bit more. Wukong. Wukong I haven't been picking too much lately. I, I do like Wukong still, but uh, yeah, definitely in the um, Gold 3, ever since Gold 3, um, I've been picking him a, a little bit less. Um, just because players are really good at countering him, actually. Um, obviously, they have um, lots of different ways to counter him. So, like Block Revive and ronda and uh, ramon too and stuff so um sifi still gets picked quite a bit leo never ever pick him ba almost like look i shouldn't even have picked him because he's actually not geared for live arena anymore he's not in he's like in my like sixth or seventh like savage set so he's he's definitely not geared for it anymore uh, makagi i still like picking her quite a bit ramon too i like picking him quite a bit Necrit, not too much, but he still sees some action. Duchess, I do like picking her, but uh, overall usage fell down a little bit uh, since goal 3, I think. Since I pick Sifi most of the time. If she's available, I pick Duchess. And then Warlord obviously gets picked a lot. But these are like the top supports for my for my account. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so far it's been working out okay. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the fights. Um... And yeah, what uh, any improvements uh, you guys can see along the way? Love to hear your feedback, of course. And uh, hopefully, you guys had a great uh, Christmas or holidays or whatever. And uh, yeah, have a good rest of the week. If I don't catch you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.